Hi guys, this is here with Aspic Tech. It's been a long time since we didn't have a new open beta for our beloved devices. So now guys, I present to you the open beta 9 Oxygen OS open beta 9 for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Download it with the Oxygen data. I'm gonna do this right now with you guys, but first let's read the changelog. Let's see what are the new bugs, sorry, the new goodness that the team, Oxygen team is bringing to us. So system, enhance the one hand usage for dialer up, optimize network for a better gaming performance, fix the issue of two OnePlus app stores displaying drawer, never had that one, updated Android security patch, to January 2020, I think probably that's the major one, improved system stability and fixed general bugs. Now guys, this is really like the best line in any change log. You know why? Because when the coders and the devs do not know what to put, they just put like improved system stability and fixed general bugs. And there it is. Zen mode, do you use this? I don't. Support OnePlus account login, synchronization of bugs and historical data, weather, some improvements in the weather app, fix the weather app crashing issue, Guys, it is only 280 megabytes, so without any further ado, let's hit the download button. And while the file is downloading, guys, I want to share with you some experience about the Open Beta 8 and ask you if you have had the same. Recently, guys, I have a lot of issues with the OnePlus 7 Pro. On the latest Open Beta 8, there was a lot of problem. Like, I cannot send pictures from Viber every time. I want to send something from Viber, guys. Probably like 9 out of 10 times, Viber will crash. Okay, not good. And then there's also some other things. Sometimes when I take a picture, I know my gallery will not really work, things like that. So I was really annoyed. Yesterday I had problems with Skype for Business and with MS Outlook, not happy at all. Okay, prepare for installation. You know how the drill works. We need to go to settings. Now scroll down and then here we have system. And then guys here on system, we have system updates. Now, of course, right now the checks are done. We can also install it right now over the air. I just shown you the option how you can download it manually with the oxygen updater. Okay guys, right now I'm just gonna do like this and I'll put local upgrade because I've already downloaded it, right? Usually you can prefer to choose oxygen updater in case the auto updates are not showing that quickly because you know that the OnePlus guys they are doing some rollout based updates based on locations on devices so a lot of the times it is still better to use the Oxygen OS updater because you can get the local updates really faster push through the Oxygen updater compared to the local OTA. And guys, just to continue with all the issues that I had, so I said Viber was not working, Microsoft Skype for Business was not working for myself. I had also some other like system instability and issues. So every time I want to like put up the phone and display an application, it will work nine out of 10, but this one time is just problematic. So Viber again, no issues with Telegram and Twitter, stuff like this. I don't use too much Facebook and Instagram, but it was very annoying that I know people that claim that WhatsApp was also not working or freezing. Facebook was freezing, Instagram was freezing, battery life was not so good. By just saying all these reasons, I just hope that the open beta 9 is going to give us a better and stable performance. Now, with all this said, I realized that it's called an open beta software. So, guys, you cannot expect to have a fluid, very stable performance with a better ROM, right? It's a testing ROM. And of course, this is the price we need to pay by getting all the new features earlier than everybody else. Because the normal and regular guys are gonna use the phones or their phones, you know, with system stable updates. People like us wanna try some new features before the others. Of course, you know, we are jumping into the better runs. And of course, that's the price we need to pay. So I'm not complaining, I'm just stating I have these issues, right? And of course, that's why I'm downloading always the latest betas. And I can just hope that OnePlus is fixing those issues. 99% install. My phone is going to reboot right now. Let's see what happens. There are not a lot of things I can show you in hand with the phone because they're not so visible updates in the change log. But okay, let's see. Every time my phone is about to reboot after one new update, I'm crossing my fingers and saying my prayers because you know the boot loop story, right? <laughs> Never happened with the OnePlus 7, but I have plenty of boot loops on my other phones, guys. Okay, phone reboots. Now I will leave it like here. Phone is going to reboot. Guys, please share in the comments below. Did you also experience any kind of issues with Viber, any kind of issues with Skype or Business, gallery not opening on your OnePlus 7 or OnePlus 7 Pro by using the latest Open Beta 8? 
What actually does concern me even more is that I have a friend who has the OnePlus 7T and he's on a stable ROM having the same exact same issues I do report to you for Viber, right? So I'm not sure what goes on. There is something. Also, there is something with the RAM management. I can give you this example. If I don't use my phone for several hours, I switch it on. Suddenly, I receive 1,000 notifications. So I'm not sure what happens there. People do claim that when you reinstall the OnePlus launcher or like clean the storage and clean the cache, it's better. I didn't try this yet, but I can report that there are some issues with this phone right now. It's not as stable as it was. And even I think battery life compared to what we have on the Android 9 is absolutely worse. Right now I can make four or five hours. On Android 9 I used to make seven, eight hours. Of course, using only QHD and 90 Hertz. But it is what it is. This is the life of a better tester like we all are. While my phone is rebooting, again, I just want to ask you guys, share with you your comments, what types of issues did you have with the Open Beta 8. And if you're already now on the Open Beta 9, you can use this video here to put your feedback in the comments below, all right? And for the very first time, presenting to you guys the OnePlus 7 Pro running on the latest Oxygen OS Open Beta 9. And we just have to go to settings, okay, about phone, all right, and then you can see here, guys, OnePlus 7 Pro, open beta 9, okay, let's see system new, system updates, I already show you guys all the new things, now, there is not going to be a lot of changes, you know, just when looking at the phone and interacting with the phone, perhaps the weather app, but I'm even not sure about that, for me, it just looks the same, anyway, right now, the phone is on the latest OS, Guys, I'm gonna test the battery, etc. And I'll report any findings into the comments below this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I really wanna thank you for watching and liking my videos. If you want also subscribe to my channel, that's up to you. I wish you a nice rest of the day. DST, over and bye.